Hello, if you're here today, you have been selected to be a DS200 worker. In this video, we will cover the process for opening, closing, and also cover some situations that could happen throughout the day. At 5.30 in the morning, you will report to your voting location manager and they will have your bag of supplies. It'll be a blue bag. It'll have your particular machine on it, the machine number and the location. You're gonna wanna make sure that matches the tag on the machine. So once that matches, you know that bag is where it's supposed to be. Now let's go over the contents of what will be in your bag for election day. This will be the booklet where you'll record the opening and closing tags for your machine. This is the voter intent envelope for any ballot that must be sent back to the board for board review. If a machine is to go down, this is the sign that will temporarily be placed on the machine to let the voters know the machine is out of order. These are the end tabs that will be used at the beginning of the day to seal the machine doors back up and at the end of the day when the machine is closed. This is the clear plastic bag in which you will put the zeros tapes in. Your machine keys will also be in this, both the green key and the blue key. This will be the clear plastic bag in which the used security tabs will be sealed. These are the I voted stickers in which you will pass out to each voter after they have cast their ballot. These are gonna be your supplies, your scissors, and your pens. And this will be the blue tape that will be used to mark five feet from the machine. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this plastic. In your booklet, you will record the first seal and repeat for the other seals as well. Once the tabs are recorded, you will then proceed to cut them off. They will be placed in the clear plastic envelope, which is labeled used red security tags. The machine judge will sign the machine tag on the designated line. This tag will go in the clear plastic bag, mark zeros, tapes, keys only. Next, you will move down to the ballot bin door. Using your green key as well, you open this door. You will grab the blue box. Once the blue box is out, you will cut the tag. That will be put in the used red security tags envelope. You will use then your green key to unlock the blue box. Once you've unlocked the blue box, you'll remove the ballots and they will be given to the ballot table. Your blue box may contain white boxes that are used for the ballot stubs. These boxes will not be locked. We'll open these and remove the ballot stub boxes. Once you remove the contents from your blue box, you'll put the blue box back into the DS200 ballot bin. A very important step is to make sure that the lid of the blue ballot box remains open. You'll then take your green key, which you use to open the ballot bin door, and you will lock it. We'll now begin to open the DS200. You will take your green key to open the top. 
unlatch both latches. An important step also is to make sure that the DS200 is plugged in. Once you've done this, you will remove the official election seal. This will be placed in your booklet. We'll then take our blue key, use that to open the lid of the DS200 machine. By opening the lid, the DS200 will automatically power on. The machine will take some time to turn on, so have patience. An initial configuration report will print. You will be brought to a screen that says open poles. You will select the open pole option. Your zeros total tape will begin to print. Once your zeros tape has been printed, you will need your signature as well as a signature from either the voting location manager or assistant voting location manager. After both people have signed the zeros tape, it will be placed in the clear plastic envelope labeled zero tape and keys. The next step involving the DS200 machine will be pressing the go to voting mode. This will bring you to the screen that you're going to see the rest of the day and the public count should read zero. Once the DS200 is ready for voting and you have recorded the new tags in which you will seal both the emergency ballot box door and the ballot bin door, you will seal each one back up for the day. Only one machine person will have the blue tape in their supplies. You'll want to measure five feet using your feet. And then place the blue tape five feet from the machine. This will be the line for the next voter to stand behind. You are now ready for voting for the day with the DS200 machine. You will want to put your supplies in a safe location. The only thing that you will need for the rest of the day will be your I Voted stickers. The machine judge's role throughout the rest of the day will be to make sure that the voter casts the ballot in the proper place. It will also make sure that the voter receives an I Voted sticker. Have a nice day. One issue you may run into during the day is if a voter selects too many ovals in a particular race. This will generate a notification on the screen which asks if the voter would like their ballot returned or if they would like to cast it with errors. It is up to the machine judge to explain this situation to the voter and find out what the voter would like to do with their ballot. The voter will hit return. Once the ballot is returned and the voter reviews the ballot and reviews their error, they will be directed to the ballot table to receive a new ballot while their original ballot is placed in the soiled envelope. Another issue that you may run into throughout the day is if a voter casts a blank ballot. 
another notification will pop up on the screen saying that you have cast a blank ballot. It will give you two options, either to return the ballot or cast a blank ballot. The voter is most likely going to hit return. Once you explain that the voter must fill out their ballot first, they will then go back to a voting booth, fill their ballot out properly, and then it will be cast and their vote will be counted. If either one of these situations occurs and the voter leaves before they can select the option on the screen, you must then get someone from the opposite party to assist you once the ballot is returned, you will make the voting location manager aware of this situation. That ballot will be given back to the ballot table to be marked and placed in the soiled and defaced envelope. Only the voter themselves is able to cast their own ballot. If you run into issues with the machine not working, you will have an out of order temporarily sign in your supply bag. You will place that in front of the screen. Since there are now multiple machines at each location, you will no longer need to use the emergency ballot box. You will just have the voters cast their ballot at the next machine. Once we reach 7.30 and the close of polls, you will then begin the process of closing your DS200 machine. You will take your blue key in your hand, you will remove the sticker, which is on the memory stick door. You will take that sticker and you will place it in your booklet next to the label that says memory stick cover tape. You will then take your blue key to open the memory stick door. You will select the close pull button. A screen will pop up stating to continue closing the poll, press close poll. You will select close poll. The voting results report will begin to print. While the totals tapes are printing, you will cut the seal to the ballot bin door. You'll take the green key to open the ballot bin door. You will remove the blue ballot box. You will check to see if any ballots did not fall into the blue ballot box. Before you lock and seal your blue box, you will receive from the paper ballot judge and provisional ballot judge the unused election day ballots, the unused provisional ballots, the soiled and defaced ballot envelope, and the provisional soiled and defaced ballot envelope. Once you receive all of these items, you will lock and seal your blue box. On the screen after this, you will select finish turn off, and you will remove the totals tape from the DS200. Three totals reports will be generated. You will want to make sure to sign two of them with either a voting location manager or an assistant voting location manager. The other report will be placed on the door facing outwards for the public to read. Once the DS200 screen goes black, you will remove the memory stick from the port. Taking the blue key, you will then lock the memory stick door. Once you have locked and sealed the blue ballot box, you will return the blue ballot box, memory stick, and totals tape to the VLM. Shut the DS200 screen. Lock that with the blue key. Before you seal up the DS200 for the night, these items will go in the bottom. The white ballot stub boxes. And the poll pads. 
we will now begin locking and sealing the DS200. Remember to record your opening and closing tabs in your booklet. Then you will want to put all of your supplies back in your blue bag and return that to the voting location manager at the end of the night. The machine judge is also responsible for opening and closing the Express Boat ADA machine. One of the machine judges at the location will remove the end tab and record that in their forms book, along with removing the tamper tape and placing that in the forms book as well. You will want to take your blue key and open the side door. It's important to check that there's a memory stick in place, as well as a switch being flipped to voter mode. Once you make sure these two things are in place, you will go ahead and power on. Once the express boat powers on, you will want to confirm the location and simply select OK. You will then be ready to vote for the day. You will want to make sure to place the privacy shield on the machine. If a voter comes in to use the express boat machine, you will want to make sure that the corner with the cut in it goes in the top right hand corner when inserted into the machine. The next step would be to select search. Based on the authority to vote slip, you will want to select the voter's precinct. Also looking at the authority to vote slip, you will want to select the voter's ballot style. There will be a screen to confirm both the precinct and the ballot style. You will then hit activate. It's now up to the voter to vote their ballot. If the voter needs any assistance with filling out their ballot, you will want to get someone of the opposite party to come over and helping you to assist the voter in filling out their ballot. Once the card is printed, you will want to have the voter insert it into the DS200 machine in the designated feed. At the end of the day, you will want to take your blue key, open the side door, and power off. Make sure to lock the side door with the blue key. And that is the last step for the express boat for the night.